you actually go through the whole ceremony of getting sworn in as a made man. Correct. Talk about the, you know, that particular ceremony. Um, we were brought to uh, a house in Staten Island. Um, prior to that, we had jumped on the local expressway there and we jumped on and jumped off and got back on exits just in, you know, in the event that any law enforcement was tailing us because, you know, you don't want to bring law enforcement to, to this kind of uh, ceremony because you have the administration there. Um, and we get to the house and there was three of us that day. It was myself, um, Anthony Guzzo, who I mentioned, and a guy named Patty. I don't really remember Patty's name. And they brought us down into a basement and you know, sometimes maybe it's another room. In our case, it was a basement and they had three chairs set up. And one by one, they called us up into the, into the house, uh, actually to the dining room, to the dining room table. And um, at that table was um, part of our administration and captains in the family and soldiers in the family sitting around that table. And... Um, the acting boss, Matty Madonna, was there. The consigliere, Joe DiNapoli, was there. The underboss, Stevie Creer, was not. You know. um, sometimes maybe only one member of the administration could be, could be present, but in this case, there was two. Um, and it's a whole, it's a very, very serious ceremony. On the table are... Um, is a, is a gun and a knife, um, a picture of a saint, an ashtray, a lighter. Or a, a, there was a diabetic uh, needle, a pin, or whatever you would call it. And, you know, they ask you a series of questions, one being, you know, do you know why you're here? Which, you know, at that point, we obviously knew why we were there, but everyone is supposed to answer no, that you do not know why you were there. And... Um, you know, like I said, there was a series of questions. Um, you know, you're being considered uh, of being a member of the family, and if called upon, would you kill for this family? And there's a whole a series of questions that um, anyone who described this before probably, you know, said the same thing over and over. It doesn't change too much. Um, and then your finger is obviously pricked. And blood is dropped on a saint, which is then burned, and you, you have to repeat things. And and at that point, you 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 are a member of that family, and you would you know, it's not all of the rules are explained, but the more serious ones are. Um, you know, not putting your hands on another member, not going with somebody's wife or girl of another member, and things like that. And then you know, everybody would lock arms together and it's kind of symbolic to um, to signify that you are not one, you are as one, as as one family, you know, you are all one. And supposedly, you know, it's supposed to be a brotherhood and you are all brothers now. And then at that point, you are formally introduced to everybody in that room. And those are the first introductions that are made you know and it's usually you have to have a third party but at that moment somebody has to do some kind of an introduction and um it was the consigliere introduced me to the acting boss and then they started you know with the people that were there and i was introduced to everybody and you know that's it you're you're uh, there's no you know you should know what you need to do at that point, you know, after those initial kind of rules. So now you're a made man in the Lucchese Mafia. Correct. Now, being in that position, you're a soldier. You're not a captain. You're not a boss. So you have to start, start earning money and kicking money up, right? I mean, you should, yes. Okay, so how do you start making money at that point? 
Um, before that, I got a little bit involved in the sports business and, um, and I continued it. I didn't, I wound up getting out of it. It wasn't that big, um, but I did get out of it and went into loan sharking where you would obviously put money out on the street for a certain amount of points and start making money that way. And then there's the occasional, what would be called um, a score. And um, it would be mostly us collecting unpaid debts from businesses or one business or another business, mostly in the construction industry. And you would make money that way. So, you know, you start, you, you could branch out and start doing basically anything you want to make money. But that's what I kind of stuck to. That was how I made money. It wasn't a lot of money, but I, you know, I survived. 